Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another unboxing and review video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Velociraptor Containment Chaos Pack. This is a spectacular set from the Legacy Collection lineup. Um, it comes with a boatload of accessories, three human figures, the Velociraptor, and the crate that it comes in uh, during the first scene of the movie. The raptor even has a glow-in-the-dark eye, which is the first time we've seen that in Mattel figures before, and it just looks spectacular. This is an incredible, incredible set. Um, you have to put together the co containment um, unit, the little uh, shipping container that is the assembly part, but I just love the fact that we have now Jurassic Park workers get their little helmets they've got the jurassic park logo on them and everything uh they come with vests uh stun gun a gun and uh walkie talkies spotlight i think those are what are those some sort of like shoulder pads knee pads something like that um the box is really neat you can see the artwork in the background has the container in it behind the raptor you can see a little bit of the parts of the container sticking out on the side um, and then the raptor enclosure decal kind of wraps around the side of the box here. You can see guardrails and the bars on it. Now, the back of the box includes this kind of like map of the world that we've seen in all of the box art for the um, Dino Trackers lineup. Um, since this is part of the, I guess, Dino Trackers era, of course, they're going to include that on the back of the box. But the front of the box are, art and aesthetic is spectacular. Um, so we're going to dig right into this. Uh, I picked this guy up um, at Target, I think for 20 bucks. It was half off sale. And uh, uh, I got it down in California. So to fly it back up here, I had to um, put it in the suitcase um, instead of a carry-on. I managed to fit a boatload of other figures in my carry-on, but uh, I had to unpack those and flatten the box. I was actually considering doing that with this guy, uh, but I decided against it because the uh, plastic holding the figures in is still around the same height and width of the box, so it's like... Uh, might as well just not flatten the box. So, ooh. Some parts of the uh, containment unit thing are on the front, but the rest were actually in the back of the box. Um, there's, there's like a kind of, see, a lip here where these were hiding behind. That's pretty neat. Oh, we're losing parts left, right, and center. Okay, so the front of the crate or the side or something popped off. You can see there's foot pegs in it for the figures to uh, use to climb up. Um, we'll uh, just get the raptor out real quick. Oh my goodness, the paint is spectacular. You can actually see the stripes go down halfway. Uh, and then they stop and then you actually have some paint on the tip of the tail that looks great that really makes it look finished and oh my goodness the neck goes up or the neck the paint goes up the neck and to the top of the head Mattel has really outdone their themselves on this one um, in the previous legacy collect uh, collection raptor we had the paint stop right below um, halfway up the neck and the top of the head had no paint and you think, oh, wow, that's bad. But um, the, uh, what is it called? The Epic Attack, something like that. Um, Raptor from the uh, Ford Explorer set also suffers from no paint on the back of the neck and top of the head. So having paint on that area um, is just exciting to me, <laughs> um, unfortunately. Also, the face seems to have this darker brown um, painted around the mouth area. And uh, that is actually really neat. The eye also stands out, not just for being glow in the dark, but um, the, uh, the coloration um, that they did, that they used, is actually really nice. I love it. It's very crisp. Um, and the raptor mold that they used too is really nice. I'm glad that they didn't use the like weird short tail mold that we've seen in previous sets. So this is um, pretty neat. 
and compared to the um the last legacy set raptor from the uh, jeep with uh, ellie in the raincoat this one's a lot lighter it's not as dark brown this is kind of like a greeny brown it'd be something more in relation to the kenner um screaming raptor in terms of the pattern and color it kind of uses more oranges um instead of browns and i really like that uh, mattel is giving us a variety of different colors to choose from so that we can have um the color and pattern we want um the uh, jurassic park raptor to be this though to me feels more like a um tiger raptor something that'll fit in more with like the lost world in terms of like photography and stuff but it's pretty interchangeable i mean with the the pattern on it you've got stripes on the tail like tiger raptor-esque but then you've got like the big brown blotches just more jurassic park raptor style but um even the underbelly's painted all the way up to the the chin so that's pretty neat so yeah love the raptor I'll grab you guys a scan code real quick. Won't forget it this time. There you go. You can just pause the video and scan it. So yeah, the Raptor is spectacular. No paint on the claws, whatever. They did a phenomenal job painting the rest of the body. Fantastic. So let's grab the human characters out. Uh, of course, Robert here is um, just a uh, redo of the uh, 2018 legacy collection version so nothing new with him but i'm glad to get another one because my guy's torso is getting a little scuffed my last one um and now let's get these vests out because i do not like the look of the uh park um whatever you call them i don't they're what would they be they're uh they're not park rangers they're i'll just keep saying park workers um they're kind of jumpsuits are all the same color pants and shirt and stuff so the uh vest will actually make that look a lot nicer by giving um a different color to uh, kind of space out their uh, lack of color um pull up their little weapons i love the stun gun this one is uh seems to be inspired by the um amber collection one we got with the amber uh robert um spotlight's also really cool might have to pop it out from the back there we go and the walkie talkies are taped in that is a little annoying tape was easy to pull off though they left a little bit on the top to kind of get your finger in there and then i think these are pads knee pads shoulder pads and i love the back box art love that that is spectacular okay so let's pan the camera down a little bit um let's see what the instructions have to say so these are knee pads okay so the knee pads go on the knee of that guy um and it shows only one of them wearing the vest but it comes with two vests so we'll put the vests on both the guys because again they look a lot better with it um they have some little rubbery clamps that you have to like pull off there we go and then uh, kind of put him forward his arms that is <laughs> this is so funny it's a uh, it's a weird way of uh putting it on but very easy and effective come on there we go it's not as hard as the uh the 93 classic outfits to get on them those ones were a little bit more tricky there we go so we got one vest on looks pretty fly looks pretty swank i'll put these knee caps knee protector thingies on um it's interesting they included these and not just um, molded them on. Maybe they wanted them to be uh, the black color and they couldn't like add that paint detail into the legs. So you just include them as a, an accessory, but it's pretty neat because you can put them on any other figure. Um, we'll put a, uh, what, what are we gonna, what does he have? He's got the stun rod in one hand. 
Um, and then he's got the light in the other for some reason. So we got this stun rod. There we go. And then the kind of uh, area light, floodlight. Um, there we go. I'm gonna have to watch the uh, the movie again. I don't know if either of these characters are the one that gets pulled in by the raptor, but I'm really hoping uh, at least one of them resembles that guy because uh, that would be pretty cool and funny uh, kind of nod to the movie and you can recreate the scene, but from the looks of it, I don't think they are, question mark. We're gonna put this guy's thing on. Maybe we'll get him as a uh, Comic-Con exclusive. That would be great. Top's not going on, whatever. And then this guy had the, uh, what do you see? He's got a little walkie-talkie. Um, how do they hold it? I think he's gonna like force it in, wedge it in there. They kind of have their hands like they're holding uh, a trigger, but it kind of works for the walkie-talkie as well. Um, there we go. And I'll make his other arm more human, not as stiff. Now, of course, Robert will give him the gun in one hand. And we have a loose walkie-talkie, so we'll put that in the other. These tiny parts are going to be so easily lost if anyone uh, gets this for kids um, to play with. Because look at how tiny that is. Oh my goodness. So, there we go. There are our human figures. Now let's get to the construction of the container. So, it says on the uh, instruction thing. Step one, A to A, B to B. That looks easy enough. I don't think I'll screw it up. Unlike this sticker that someone else put on and is clearly screwed up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh oh, maybe I should have left it. Okay, that's fine. It's a little better. I ripped it. Whoops. Okay, so let's start. Um, just knock a guy down. Whoops. With the walls. And then. Oh my goodness, there's so many walls. <laughs> I got that kind of opening thing. I'm so glad Mattel is doing more play sets like this, especially for movie scenes, to recreate them. This is absolutely phenomenal. Um, after I'm done constructing it, I'll show it in comparison to um, some of the other play sets that we've gotten from Mattel. This seems to be uh, the roof there. Okay, kind of got a hold of it so let's see um I think this goes in here no I'm already lost uh oh here nope Okay, what the heck's going on? So we got, where where does it say A and B? We got F. Um, C, what the heck? Oh, I think this is upside down. Okay, it was upside down. So, where's the roof? This is the roof. And the roof goes. None of these have A and B on them. Should I just throw caution to the wind and 
Okay, I think I think I got it. I think I know what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. And then put this one on next. Like this. Pop those in. Okay, and then it says um, to stick the back on. I think this is the back. And it's upside down. Pop the back on. Like so. Okay, we got the back on. Kind of, sort of. Not fully. Something's not lining up. Uh-oh. So we've got, got a little bit of a warping situation. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, fixed it. And then stick the bottom on. go. Okay, bottom is now stuck on, and then the door kind of slides in. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is great. I need the T-Rex into the background. So, you can open this like that and close it and it's got the little lines got little um foot pegs for the uh guys to get onto the top of it to pull the top of the crate it's got a few on the back little window in the back there let's stick the raptor in there i think the glow in the dark eye is really nice i think they were um trying to make it so if you had this in here that you could see the eye through the holes glowing like the scene in the movie and i think that's really nice it's a really neat detail so we'll uh stick the wrapper in this way um fits pretty good close that on up it'd be spectacular if they released a mega set where this connects to it and opens up to the uh, enclosure, that would be pretty neat with like a crane and a cow and stuff. Um, so yeah, you can have the figures um, use these um, kind of ladder parts on the side to get to the top and lift up the uh, kind of front door there. That is crazy. I was not expecting Mattel to make this into a set, honestly. Um, as much as it has a lot of play feature, it was just something that I totally wasn't expecting. But we have had other sets um, from the first movie with way less play features um, kind of become sets. So that's pretty spectacular that uh, we finally have the raptor um, crate from the movie. So you can easily recreate scenes now with this some other cool um elements that really help world build for the first movie are stuff like the outhouse which is really fun um that really uh ties in eventually i think mattel is going to make enough sets that we can recreate the movie scene from scene um we almost had the front gates those would have made for an insane set um we got the uh, power box and uh, we also have the power shed if you count the box art i mean it's the same material as the um, outhouse so i count this as um definitely part of the set um so the the power bunker shed which has the kind of power component to it and then vehicles and stuff so we already have a decent amount of um 
props and other accessories from the first movie to recreate scenes. Um, eventually, I'm hoping we have just fence pieces, the front gates, and of course the visitor center, because once we have all of those, um, it would make it very easy to do like toy movies and, and other content like that. Photography, oh my goodness, there's so much possibilities with it. So yeah, this set is spectacular. Definitely pick it up if you are a collector or fan of the first movie and uh, or just want maybe a cage to put your dinosaurs in because it does fit other small dinosaurs. Um, like, what else could we stick in here really quick? Pachycephalosaurus, you can see if that guy goes in there. Um, definitely the Hammond Collection one will fit inside this container. Um, and of course, you can have it in backdrop scenes for the Lost World as a container that they stick the dinosaurs in. Um, the Hammond Collection Raptor also fits in there. So I don't think the Legacy Pachycephalosaurus will fit. I don't know. It's kind of giving... If you squish his head in, yeah, actually, he fits. <laughs> That's so cool. So yeah, um, I love this set and I can't wait to try out some photography with it as a kind of set piece. Maybe have characters hiding behind it or dinosaurs on top of it. There's a lot of possibilities, but again, I'm so glad Mattel made this set and it really helps um, build the world a bit more because it would suck to just have the dinosaurs. I think what really makes a Jurassic toy line are the human characters, the play sets and the vehicles. So giving more props like this um, really helps kind of create the world, not just for play, but for photography and collectors alike. So it's great. I love it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, be sure to check out more of my content. I don't know why I just reached in there. I thought the raptor was in there. Here we go. So yeah, be sure to check out my previous videos and unboxings and subscribe for future videos like this. And uh, again, I'll see you all in the next video then. Bye-bye.